All right, inventory video, December 17th right now. Um, here's a gorgeously painted pink rockabilly base, slackabilly. It's got a uh, pro turquoise on it now. And uh, gorgeous base, anyhow. Make us an offer if you'd like such an incredible piece of work. This is a Colin Volter hybrid spirit model. It's got broad shoulders, big body, still a basic standard three-quarter scale. We have spiral core or medium strings on it. That's a nice sounding bass. Next to it we have a <laughs> entry priced basic rockabilly. Instead of red, red, we record pros. It's a, like an 800 dollar bass. And here is a painted converted to removable neck base with a magnetic pickup. Set of spiral cores, selling it for a local pro. Here is a Colin Volter Carcassi model. Pretty high level base. Seven to eight thousand dollars. Spark core strings, nice bass. Here is a 1920s Czechoslovakia bass. Carved top, solid flat back, solid sides. Uh, we pulled it all apart and got it all cleaned and glued up properly. Nicely restored. It's got a set of obligato strings on it. This one here is a fantastic orchestral bass. All solid carved woods by uh, maple leaf strings. It's got a set of Diodario Kaplan's on it. Which do not give much voice plucked. But bow, this thing has a huge, fat, rich sound all up and down the register. All right, and this next bass is a Christopher DB504. All solid carved woods, 500 series. The four stands for the be settle corner shape there. It's got a set of spiral core E and A and Eva Parazzi D and G on it. And uh, that's a nice bass. You could get that tweaked for how you want it to play. Jazz orchestral. And this is a 1961, I believe it is, your model, American Standard, uh, spiral core medium strings. Nice sounding bass. We got rigged up with a KNK bass mix pickup with our set screw to mount it in there. We have two go fillers from Christopher, go filler copy, huge bodied bass, still with a three quarter string length. contos on it. So they sound great bowed, pretty weak sound plucked. And look at the scroll and pegs on this one. It's a nice ebony top hat pegs and the scroll of the neck there is sliced curved that way instead of the usual heel most bases have. Very unique looking go filler copy. All right, there's a few more to include in this video on this side of the room. This is 1920s hybrid base. It's carved top, laminated sides and back, flat back. This is in Czechoslovakia. It's about record medium strings. Nice base. This is another Christopher, all solid carved, made as a removal neck by them. Barcore medium strings. This is the 402 series base. Oh, we got the strings loosened up for some reason. <laughs> I remember now. I 
it's got a little seam opening in the back. We gotta get that handled. And then find somebody to take this baby at a nice discounted price. And this here is an older base, should be made in the 1800s. It's got some cracks in the sides and the front. Looks like somebody put a plywood back on a while back. And um, it's got really thin wood in the carved top. I'm expecting this thing to sound really rich and full because of the thin resonant wood. So we got to go through a restoration process. We'll put a new ebony fingerboard on, get it all rigged up. It's got metal pegs going through these machine tuners. That's weird. Okay, so we'd like to change it out to either wood ones or just the usual type of tuning machines maybe. Anyhow. All right, and this one is an all laminated in the white, meaning no finish at all. Removal net converted base. It's a workhorse base. Have anything aboard, we can rig it up with whatever sort of pickup you need. Any sort of paint job or stain. Stain any color with an oil finish, look gorgeous. Whatever you need, it's ready to get fixed up and go. This one is a 1960s German solid flat back, carved top. We've gone through and restored it. And it's ready to go. It's got a set of Helicor hybrid strings on it, of course. And this one needs to be buttoned up. It's a laminated base that's coming apart and chipped and beat up. This is a Colin Volter that was broken to pieces and shipping. We're going to restore that one of these days and make it a bargain price. Fixed up, broken base. This is a... Um, Oh, what does Anton Schroeder, 1976, all solid carved woods base, arched back, all solid carved. <laughs> Got it set with a pretty low jazz action, it's for hardcore medium strings. This is another Colin Volter, the fingerboard came off in shipping. We gotta get that back on and get it set up and ready to go. This is a, a billy base, a black base, finish, rockabilly thing. This is a half size, super well flamed, gorgeous base with ebony fingerboard. Listen to it. I don't recognize the strings on it, so I can't tell you what they are. Alright, this is a quarter size all laminated model. Mono MB12 with helicor orchestral strings. Sounds bigger with different strings plucked. This is another basic bass MB12. We look at strings on it, we look at pros. And this is a Christopher removable neck. Z402 model. And uh, spar of course, strings, of course. And this next to it is a Christopher Carve Top, the uh, 303 model with helical orchestral strings. So, plucked, you don't hear a very big sound. Uh, we broke the neck on this one here in the shop. A rare occurrence of we breaking one. It was standing in a stand in the hallway and fell over and managed to break. So uh, it's for sale at quite a discount because of broken neck, repaired neck. And this is a big body, Colin Volter, called their hybrid, hybrid spirit. It's got really wide shoulders, a big upper bout, and uh, sounds great. This is a carved top hybrid Milano MB100, whatever that is. It's got spark or strings, and this one is normally $19.95, I believe. Bargain price for a carved top base. And here's a carved top with gorgeous flamed maple sides and back. It's got ever brought to strings. And then we got 
cellos, we're not going to play those in this video. We got a little batch of cellos. And here we have a Palatino electric upright modified with the realist pickup um, the mount screwed to the body so it's very stable right there to plug it in. We installed a, a crutch in the side if you need the spacing to keep it further from you, similar to the upright base. Sounds fantastic plugged in. There's not much voice unplugged, but anyhow, let's plug it in right quick just so you can hear that. seen it in other videos. This is a an eminence electric upright bass fixed neck with the realist pickup so it'll sound a lot like that one you just heard. And only has the eminence, very well made bass. Okay. And here's a white bass. MB45, it's got a fixed bridge, steel strings, big sounding basic plywood bass. Here's our George Washington bass, made in the late 1700s probably, and uh, still three strings. Here's the core hybrid strings on. Doesn't sound that big plug, but plugged in is amazing. We have a 1997 Inglehart here with their uh, cherrywood fingerboard. Palatino steel strings on it. Here's another Billy bass with an ebony fingerboard, I believe. And uh, this has Innovation Ultra Black strings on it. Here's 1941K, three piece neck that is giving us trouble staying repaired. I'm considering replacing the whole neck heel. All right, next one is this 1961 King Moore tone. The decals are flawless on the back and on the tailpiece. The neck got broken off cleanly. We're gonna put that back nicely. And look how clean the brass is on the tuning machines. You can read the inscriptions on it easily. King Morton, made by the HN White Company, Cleveland, Ohio. Anyhow, this base is the most immaculate everything about it that I've seen except the broken neck. The finish is just very, very nice. Edges not chipped away at all. All I've seen is a little lacquer that chipped away along this edge here. And that's it. Otherwise, wow, it looks so complete and like new. And here's a banjo bass. It's got a bass drum cut down short, special back on it. Huge neck banjo bass. And here we have a blue rockabilly bass with an ebony fingerboard. It's got a, an underwood pickup install with the set screw that we do. And um, it's got uh, rockabilly reds by Innovation on it. Here's a set of Innovation uh, Ultra Blacks. That's the higher tension slap string. Slap nylon wound, flat nylon wound on a billy bass. Ebony fingerboard, nice sturdy plywood base. And here's a white basic base, Rockabilly. We'd like a pros, not much sound. Unamplified, but amplify it. Wow, Rockabilly rig. Right over here, we got some more bases. This is a 1958 King Moore tone. Very rough looking, very sturdy, ready to go. Uh, we converted to removable neck. Uh, it's not, uh, we had someone do it for us. It's uh, not what we would call proper and perfect, but it's strong. And we don't want to mess with it anymore, so we're looking to get 1700 out of it. That's a low price for King Wartone. It's convertible neck and ready to go. It's actually in good shape to play. This here is a 
uh, about a 1945 K. Rather rough, scratched up from being in a school system. We got it and went through it, got it all fixed up. Very nice sounding K. That's a set of Palatino steel strings on it. They're kind of bright sounding strings, but strong sounding. This is a half size, I guess. Um, basic bass with the uh, helicore hybrids. Basic plywood bass with a paint of maple fingerboard. This is a 5 8 German bass with the ebony fingerboard. Helicore on the spiracore strings. Action. Smooth playing bass. And this is a 19. E97 Ingerhart. Sounds like a vintage bass. Cool sound. That's all for now.